city, the only city in America. It's the show that invented news. This is The Daily Show with your host, Dara Silverman. All right, let's get right to it. The big news. There was an election yesterday. Maybe you forgot about it. And apparently, so did some Republicans because Democrats got almost everything they wanted. Overnight, Democrats on a winning streak, scoring victories in Ohio, Kentucky, and Virginia. In deep red Kentucky, Trump-backed candidate Republican Daniel Cameron tried to take down Democratic Governor Andy Bashir by linking him to Biden. But it didn't work. Thank you, Kentucky! And in Virginia, a tidal wave for Democrats who held on to their state Senate majority and took control of the House of Delegates, too. A dramatic rebuke of Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin. And in Philadelphia, history was made. Democrat Sherelle Parker becoming the first female mayor in the city of brotherly love. And now to the remarkable story of a man who was in prison for years for a crime he did not commit. Yusuf Salam, known as one of the exonerated five, has been elected to New York City Council after running unopposed. The beautiful thing about my story is that I was counted out. I was one of those who was pushed into the margins of life. And now we're here right now. who was falsely accused of attacking a Central Park jogger and who Donald Trump said should get the death penalty is now a city councilman. He went from having his life threatened by Trump to being an elected representative. He's like a reverse Mike Pence. <laughs> and to this man who has overcome so much and still has the selflessness and the strength of character to turn around and serve this city that falsely imprisoned him. I just want to say, when are you going to do something about the jackhammering? My taxes pay your salary, buddy. Fix the subways. But yeah, yeah, Democrats were the big winners last night, which means all those human sacrifices were worth it. Shout out to my fellow Illuminati members. Guys, we did it. Are feeling real good. After the results rolled in, I got an email from Nancy Pelosi that wasn't even asking for money. It just said, Sarah, I am so wet right now. <laughs> now, elections aren't only about uh, changing which butts are taking up which seats in various fancy rooms. People also get to vote directly on issues that are important to them. Clearly the biggest takeaway from last night, abortion rights again boosting Democrats in key races in both red and blue states. Abortion access is the law of the land in Ohio. In one of the country's most watched swing state races, Ohioans voting to guarantee abortion access, enshrining that right into the state's constitution. Ohio becoming the seventh state to vote to protect abortion rights since the Supreme Court's ruling last year overturning Roe v. Wade. You put very sexy things like abortion and marijuana on the ballot and a lot of young people come out and vote. Uh. <laughs> this is the day.